Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I want to talk about this cervical compression test. Okay, the reason we do this test is to identify if there is a herniated disc or if there is anything in the neck that is causing some nerve root compression that could be going down into the arms. Now, one of the things we're doing is when we put pressure down on the head, we are compressing that disc a little bit, okay? So we don't want to get crazy with this. I've seen people do really hard compression, okay? So this should be nice and gentle, nice and easy. You should explain to the patient why you're doing what you're doing. So not only are you compressing the discs, but you're also compressing the joints on the back side of the neck a little bit, so you need to remember that, okay? The way you do this test is you have the patient sitting up nice and straight, spine is nice and straight. I only use one hand and I put about five to seven pounds of pressure on top of the head. Now I ask the patient if they feel anything. If they complain of pain in the neck and they usually point to one side or the other, it could just be that you're compressing the facets. But if you are pressing on the head and they develop pain down the arm, into the front of the chest, or into the shoulder blade, you need to be questioning the possibility of a, uh, a nerve root compression because you're taking that disc material and you're pushing it out a little bit and it can hit that nerve root and cause pain down the arm. The test is only positive if there is pain radiating away from that area. Okay, so that is the cervical spine compression test. Again, I warn against pushing down too hard. It should be nice and gentle and it should always be done with other tests and with a good clinical exam. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.